everyone, today is a very exciting day because two, two actually very exciting things are happening today. First is I'm going downtown to pick up my brand new camera. I'm getting a Canon M50. It was pretty close to my birthday. I always said that if by July I was still doing videos and still like really enjoying it, I was going to treat myself to a new camera. Right now I have the Canon G7X. So I'm very excited for the M50. I've done so much research and watched so many videos and I think that camera is going to work way better for me than this one that I'm using right now. Then Jonah, my boyfriend and I are going to get the keys to his new apartment. So if you don't know, Jonah has been living with us for like four or five months. His lease ended in February. He had been living with me prior um, at the beginning of 2020 because all of my roommates left and he came and stayed with me so I wasn't alone. So he's kind of been in and out of this apartment for over a year, but he finally has found some roommates that want to move in and he is going to move into his very nice apartment that is very much more downtown than where I live. And I'm very jealous. We're gonna get the keys and then we're gonna go see it. So he's seen it in person when he was touring apartments, but I haven't seen it. And I feel like I'm probably going to be spending a lot of time there because I just, you know, I wanna be downtown so badly and he is more downtown than I am. So I will be there a lot. I will show you guys what it looks like. It's like 10.30 right now. Um, I have to go down to B&H Photo, which is on 34th Street by Penn Station. I am not excited to go near Penn Station. I just hate that part of town. I went there yesterday. I got my nails done, as you can see. Um, these are a little too long, but it's my fault, not theirs. I have no gauge of how long my nails are going to be when they're like, is this length good? I always say yes, and it's simply too long. I can barely do anything, but that's okay, because they're pretty. So hopefully I won't break one off, but whatever. He's moving out. See ya. He's going. Do you like my shirt? This, this shirt is so stupid. It, it literally says the Minnesota chipmunks. I went into H&M yesterday while I was downtown. The shirt was only like $6 and Jonah was like, you have to get it. Like he's from Minnesota, so he thought it was funny. He doesn't think the chipmunks are a real team. He thinks it's a play on, I think it's the Gophers. There's a team, I don't know. Yesterday when I went to H&M, I got all these new rings too. So I'm trying these rings. I really can't wear white. Um, I'm already sweating through this, which honestly isn't the issue. The issue is that I also got chocolate right here on my shirt already. I don't know how I do it. It's honestly impressive. So I'm gonna change and we're ready to go. I am wearing like the basicest outfit of all time, but it's too hot to wear anything fun. I'm also just going to the store. So we're coming up the street to B&H and we're gonna pick up our stuff. We also are getting a gimbal for our film business that Jonah and I are starting together. So we're gonna get a gimbal, which stabilizes the camera when we shoot. So we're gonna pick that up too. So I'm out of breath. I don't know why I'm gonna pick up this stuff. So we picked up the stuff from the camera store and we wanted lunch, but we couldn't decide where we wanted. So we are currently on 62nd Street. We walked like 30 blocks uptown and we decided that we're just gonna get lunch at this Italian place on 71st Street. And we decided just to walk there because we really did not want to take the subway. just finished eating at 71st in Columbus and we walked all the way up to where Jonah's new apartment is so we are like in the hundreds right now so we walked about 40 blocks and this is my first time seeing the apartment I'm gonna show you what Jonah's room looks like because it's super cool the apartment's totally empty right now one of his roommates brought a few things no one has moved in yet and I just love an empty New York City apartment but Jonah's room is especially cool because he is living in the basement of the apartment it's a duplex so it's two levels you can see the stairs right here and he is in the basement and it's gonna be so cool because he has space for a photo studio, for us to work on things. It's gonna be amazing. Let me show you. So here's Jonah playing with keys in his kitchen. And 
this is the living room. So it's like this beautiful cherry wood and it's pretty tall ceilings and it has this staircase right here. And so this is where Jonah's room is. And if you go down the stairs and his two roommates rooms are down that hall. He lives with two other people. So you go down the stairs and this entire basement is literally it. So he has a whole side right here and a whole side right here. It's insane. And it's so echoey down here right now. You can literally hear my voice like vibrating off the walls because there's nothing down here. But this is an incredible space. No one ever gets this big of a space. Like I think my room's pretty big and this is probably about three times the size of my room. I'm gonna help Jonah move in this week and I'm sad to see him go, but I'm happy that he's living more downtown than I am because I will definitely take advantage of his apartment because we all know I wanna live downtown. Oh, he already has a pet. Oh, it's moving a little. Jonah, I don't think this is dead. I thought I would do a little bit of a haul of every single thing I got at B&H Photo. So, first thing I got was the gimbal that I mentioned while we were walking to the store. This is it. I'm not gonna open it or anything because I promised Jonah that I wouldn't open it until he got home from work. He's very excited about this. We got the Ronin SC gimbal. The rest of the stuff, though, is for me. My birthday is next week. I'm turning 24. I told myself, that if I was still very passionate about making YouTube videos and I saw a real future in this that I would buy myself a new camera because I like my G7X but honestly after a few months of using it I kind of wished I had a camera that was more adaptable I could have different lenses all of that so I decided to go with the Canon M50 so here it is here's the box I got it with the starter lens, so it's a 15 to 45 millimeter lens. I also got a Rode mic. So I just got, this is like the classic Rode mic that most people have. It's honestly one of the cheapest Rode mics, if not the cheapest Rode mic. And a lot of people say on the Canon M50, the audio is pretty good, but just since I'm in New York, there's lots of loud sounds all the time. I'm constantly filming in my room and I feel like people are blasting music outside or sirens are going by. It just seemed like a good investment to get the mic and my purchase was already a lot of money so I thought if I just threw in this $60 mic I wouldn't even notice it and I would forget about it and it wouldn't hurt as much. Like right now my camera is right in front of the window and I feel like it's probably kind of loud. Well now there's a car going by so. So next I got an extra battery and then I got this SIM card and then for fun I got just a disposable camera. I've been super into disposable cameras lately. I really wanna buy like a reusable film camera. So I've been looking into that, but I already just bought like a ton of stuff for myself. Um, I'm gonna hold off on that for now because I don't, I don't need it. Okay, so now I think I'm gonna do an unboxing of the Canon M50, but I'm gonna film it to be its own whole video or else I feel like this video is going to get really long. So I'm gonna film that now. If you wanna watch the unboxing, you're gonna have to wait a few days because I'm going to post it after this video. And it may already be out when you're watching this depending when you're watching it. So go check my channel. Okay, I filmed my unboxing. Guys, this camera I am very excited to use. Now I have some things to do tonight. It's about, I don't even know what time it is. Oh my gosh, it's eight o'clock. I really thought it was earlier than that. I have a freelance editing job that I got last week that I've been just editing some videos for this company and kind of exciting because it's my first job ever like editing things for somebody. It's not like a real like, you know, full-time job. It's just like a little, a little gig I got, but I have to finish editing some videos for them. I also really wanted an Instagram picture today. It was super gross and overcast, so I didn't get any, but I thought maybe I would play around with my new camera because people say it's really good for pictures too and maybe try to get like a cool picture. Let's figure out what to do. Two questions, one. Are Apple Watches Chugi? If you don't know what Chugi is, it's like the opposite of trendy, a word commonly used to describe like millennials, essentially every single thing they do. And since I was born in 1997, I'm kind of between the two. I would not say I really have millennial behavior. Like I don't really wear shirts that say like rose all day and I don't, I'm not a Disney adult or Harry Potter adult. 
I don't like wear Vera Bradley. I don't do any of that stuff. I don't really like it. I feel like I identify more with Gen Z, but I, I'm i still a little old for them. You know, I'm turning 24 on Saturday. That's that's an old woman um, to them. I, I keep seeing all these things saying like, this is chuggy, this is chuggy, and I literally don't do any of them. So I'm like, I'm in the clear. But the other day, a girl said Apple watches were chuggy. And I was like, I love my Apple watch. All day I've been so aware of my Apple watch. Like I think it's because I just wear it like every single day. Like no matter what outfit I'm wearing, it's like has a pink band. And I literally took it off while I was filming my unboxing in the middle of it because I was like, is this embarrassing? Should I not be wearing an Apple watch right now? Second thing isn't even a question. It's I just spent the last hour and a half talking to my mom on the phone instead of doing all of the things that I was supposed to be doing, which is probably relatable. So I just went through some of these pictures on my phone and they're all kind of bad, but I don't know if you can even, you literally can't see any of this, but I took like three pictures. Maybe I'll put them up here. Maybe I'll post one. I don't know. I really just wanted an Instagram picture. I wanted to show off my new nails. I need to put my Invisalign in. I need to get ready for bed. So I think what I'm gonna do is get ready for bed and then get in bed and do some work on my computer. I have a lot of editing I need to do. It's so little time. I'm glad we could hang out today. I'm excited to use this new camera. I love my G7X, but I think I'm gonna like this M50 even more. Well, if you haven't yet, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.